Theodore Chassereau was a French Dominican painter who was born on September 20, 1819 in Samoma, Dominican Republic. He passed away on October 8, 1856 at the young age of 37. Chassereau was an artist who created paintings in two different art movements, Romanticism and Orientalism. He began his career painting in a neoclassical style similar to that of his teacher, Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres. However, he later adopted the Romantic style of Eugène Delacroix, which had a strong influence on his later works. Chassereau was known for his portraits, religious and historical paintings, allegorical murals, and Orientalist images inspired by his travels to Algeria. Chassereau was a prolific draftsman and his illustrations of Shakespeare's Othello are still well known today. He was influenced by artists such as Angra and Delacroix, and also had close friendships with other artists and colleagues. Though his career was tragically cut short at a young age, his legacy as a talented and influential artist lives on. Born in Santo Domingo, Theodore Chassereau began showing a talent for drawing from a very young age, which earned him a spot in Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres' studio when he was just 11. Chassereau's unique style of painting, which tried to reconcile the classicism of Ingres with the romanticism of Eugène Delacroix, was evident in his works from an early age. Among his notable works from this period are Susanna and the Elders and Venus Anadiamine, both of which showcase his personal ideal in depicting the female nude. In 1839, at the age of 20, he received a third-place medal in the category of history painting at the Paris Salon, and was on his way to becoming one of the most influential painters of his time. Chassereau spent several years traveling to Rome, the city of Renaissance frescoes, which provided him with an opportunity to develop his skills further and hone different techniques. He became progressively more experimental, producing works like Christ on the Mount of Olives and The Descent from the Cross, which received mixed responses from the critics. Murals depicting the life of Saint Mary of Egypt were among his significant religious paintings from these years. He also received several commissions for public buildings in Paris, including portraits of Father Dominique Lacordaire and his sister Aline and Adèle. Despite Angra's bitterness at the direction his students' work was taking, Chassereau continued to produce prolifically throughout his life. In his later years, he created a group of 29 prints, including 18 etchings of characters from Othello. He also painted several portraits of prominent individuals of his time, such as Alexis de Tocqueville and Madame Borg de Balsan. Some of his works from this period include Andromeda chained to the rock by the Nereids, Sappho leaping into the sea from the Lucadian promontory, and young Moorish woman nursing her child. Chassereau's unique experimentations with his works and his dreamy style continued to influence artists long after his death. In conclusion, Theodore Chassereau was a highly influential painter who was a pioneer of both Romanticism and Orientalism. His unique style tried to reconcile Classicism with Romanticism, evident in works such as Susanna and the Elders and Venus Anadiamine. Chassereau's significant skill and talent in religious, historical and allegorical paintings, and Orientalist images, can be attributed to his travels and his exposure to different techniques. Despite his untimely death at just 37, Chassereau had a significant impact on the art world with his unique experimentations, dreamy style and notable works inspired by his various influences. <laughs>